Hey everyone, I'm Lawrence, and in this video I'm going to talk about all Tom Clancy's games on the GBA. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Rogue Spear is a top-down squad-based tactical game that manages to be a game of its own. The tactical part is present everywhere, from controlling and choosing what your operatives do, to even choosing your squad. You have a list of people, and you might be tempted to choose the one with the best stats overall. But you should actually choose the one with the best stats for the specific mission, not the one with the best stats overall. Because if you lose someone, they're gone forever. Your operatives come in four categories, Assault, Recon, Sniper and Demolition. And the game is action packed and intense. Not only because you have to be careful to plan your moves, but because there will be a lot of gunfire during the missions too. The only downside to the game is that in order to translate the complexity of the PC game onto the tiny GBA that doesn't have as many buttons as a keyboard, they assigned button combinations and until you learn those button combinations, the game will be extremely complex and you'll die because you forgot how to make a command. The AI on the other hand is great in the game and you get 3 difficulty modes and after you beat the game you can play the lone wolf mode with 1 operation and unlimited ammo. And the game also has multiplayer. Overall the game is a masterpiece. It's amazing how they managed to translate a PC game onto a GBA. And making that game have the same action and intensity as a PC. It's, it's just amazing. Splinter Cell on the other hand is just okay. For a GB game it's good, but if you jump from the PC version to the GBA it feels like a compromise. There are story parts left out and since it's a side scroller many of Sam's moves aren't available. Still, for a GBA it's a good stealth game. It's more basic since it's a side scroller, yet you can use your pistols, you can use your pistol, throw grenades, and you have plenty of minigames that make the experience great. I mean, you never feel the game to be repetitive. Okay, maybe some cracking minigames are repeated too much. But you have parts where you need to use the hit vision to progress, or the night vision, or to snipe people down, or to unlock stuff, which actually kinda gets repetitive, but for me at least it was never bothersome. The checkpoint system on the other hand is bothersome. It's a pain. The only time the game saves is after you complete an objective. And even if levels are fairly short, still, since it's a stealth game, a lot of thought goes into your moves until you reach that part of the level. So the distance between checkpoints is annoying. But aside of this, and some frustrating parts, the game is good. Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow brings a new story and some slightly improved gameplay and graphics. The animations look better and so do the textures. In gameplay now you can grab enemies and drag bodies and Sam can do rolls. There are new cracking minigames, you can aim upwards and downwards now, the threat meter was replaced, though some parts aren't as great. For example, if you get spotted instead of a timer to hit the alarm button, now you need to get out of sight and wait. Wait until the guards do their drill. And it's boring to just sit beside the GBA and wait until the drill is over. And the checkpoints are still too far away. And the levels are longer. But overall, it's a much more improved game than the previous one. 